Hi again and welcome to Smart Repair. Today we have an iPod 4th generation and we have to change the power and volume up and down uh, ribbon cable. You can see here I'll just I'll just put the tweezers just under the corner of the ribbon cable. I'm not um, giving any upward pressure whatsoever. I'm just just barely holding it. As I move the soldering iron over the connections, the connection will come up by itself. And we'll just clean up the four connectors afterwards. And there we have our four connections. For this job I elected to take out the motherboard because it just gives us a lot more access and it's easier to fit the uh, ribbon cable itself. So we need to remove the battery as so to remove the board. Um, same process as again to remove the battery. Um, use your tweezers just to give it a, you know, the slightest bit of upward pressure. there we have it so once again we're just gonna we're gonna clean the three connections as with all my videos um, please ensure the iPod has been turned off completely before um, attempting any repair like this So now we can uh, we can lift the motherboard from the top. Um, this board has been out a few times, so it is loose and it comes out pretty easy. Sometimes they do be fairly well stuck down with adhesive. Uh, if you introduce a small bit of heat and take your time, it will it will come out without damage. So now we can start removing our screws on the bracket for the volume up down um, buttons. There is two screws, the middle and the lower one. Um, they have to come out for the bracket to come out to release the cable. That's number one. And number two. And while we're in here, we're going to, we're going to take the screws out of the um, the power button bracket. Um, so the one is visible on the right. On the left hand side, you have to peel down the cable. It's actually in behind the cable. There you go. So all we're left to do is remove the old ribbon cable. I like to start from the volume up down keys, that side, and work across. Um, bear in mind when you're lifting this section as well, that there is a metal backing. Um, the metal backing has to be changed also. I will just remove this, uh, this piece of copper.
So this is our new um, our new part. Um, I'll give you a close up view so you can see. Um, it looks complicated, but it isn't really. Um, These cables all come with adhesive, um, adhesive backing. And as you're going along, if you hold the hold it in position and just just hit the button up and down, you'll know if you get that nice click that it's in place and everything's fine. So once it's in there and before we move on, just to make sure that that doesn't move, um, we're going to just uh, replace the, um, the bracket that we removed earlier. So once again just test the buttons make sure they're working and they are working so we'll we'll move ahead. You can see here I'm I'm removing the adhesive. I'm just gonna line up the power button. I usually aim to try and get the, the power button right in the middle of the button and the actual power on off button that's on the, the iPod itself. So again, we've um, we've tested that button before we put the screw in. And the second screw is actually under the ribbon cable, so you're going to have to be careful here. Um, just bend down the, uh, the cable so you can put in that screw. So we just replaced the copper we removed earlier. And we'll place the board back in. It's important that you actually um, push the board into place as it will be when the iPod's completely back together um, as this is the final rest in place of the cable so you want to make sure this is kind of this is where the cable is, um, is is connected perfectly 
if we were to have soldered down the joints before we put in the board or before the board was actually pressed into place um, the cable wouldn't sit right again just we're going to tin the connectors on the end of the ribbon cable just gently pull pull the, um, the solder iron across with a small bit of solder on the um, on the tip just tack one just to get it going and we can work with the rest then there you go as you can see nice neat no bridging So again, uh, the battery, we're going to um, introduce some flux. Okay, so we're going to install a test screen. As you can see it powered up from the power button so we know that side is working. As you can see the volume down is working and the volume up.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, like, comment and subscribe for more like this.